you get to the practice facility and ask yourself, how do I work on my chipping? I'm Sam Vosser, lead golf instructor for the Sanford Power Golf Academy and with my good friends at US Golf TV. And today I'm going to give you the one simple and effective drill that's going to help your distance control with chipping. The first thing that you're going to need, you're going to need about five to seven golf balls. And you can use any club. So if you want to work on a bump and run, maybe you want to hit a little higher shot, you can even do this with bunker shots, which would be a little bit more advanced. Today I got my 54. I got a general area, so again, I have a little bit more depth to the green. I don't need a hole to actually hit at here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a ball down and I'm going to try to hit my first ball as close as I can to the edge of the green. Now again, this is going to be a little bit more effective practice as opposed to just hitting it at the pin. You're going to be a little bit more intentional and you're going to be really locked into what you're doing with your golf club here. So again, this is going to be a little bit of a leapfrog game, but we're going to do it in reverse. So you may have watched our putting video on leg putting. And there we played a game called leapfrog. So again, you know the game, leapfrog. We've all played it when we were younger. We're trying to get the ball to go a little bit past that previous ball. So any there, anywhere from two to four feet is going to be a really, really good shot. So we're doing the same thing here, but we're actually going to work backwards. So we're going to play a reverse leapfrog. So you can see out there, I've actually hit a ball that's pretty close to the edge of the fringe there. So that's kind of my starting point. So I've already hit this shot, but that would kind of start your leapfrog game. The goal is to try to get as close as possible to the edge of the green. Now, if you're in a performance mode and you really want to see how many putt or golf balls you're getting between the, uh, the start of the fringe there all the way back to yourself, you can use the first shot. If you hit it over the fringe, I would recommend putting the ball right in the middle of the green to start your leapfrog. So for this one, again, we've already hit the shot. So I'm going to take my next ball. And again, the goal of this is basically to get as close as possible to that, that ball without passing it. So if I pass it, I fail and I have to start over. Again, I could hit this a little bit short. I could actually hit it about five feet out here and my leapfrog would be still going, but I lost all that space between me and that last ball. So I'm gonna set up here. I got a 54. Again, I'm just gonna try to be a little bit more intentional about my distance control. Okay, so I hit that ball. I'm actually a little bit short. You're gonna hit the ball a little right to left. That's okay, but as long as it's a general area, you're gonna be able to play this game. So that was a pretty good shot there. I'm about, I don't know, five feet short of that other one. So that's, that's again, going to be my next point for my leapfrog game. So I'm going to hit ball number two. So I've got one ball on my leapfrog. Okay, so I'm going to hit the next one. Okay, so I'm at ball number two. So I'm doing a good job. So like I mentioned earlier, if I hit this ball, so I'm going to hit this one and I'm going to actually hit it a little bit short. For some, it might not be a bad shot, but I've lost all that distance in between, so it continues, all right? So you continue to go all the way back until you get close to your feet. So we're hitting, we're getting a little bit more touch. Depending on how much green you've got, you can do this a lot of different ways. You can actually do it with a pitch shot where you're trying to get a little bit more loft. It'd be a little bit more advanced. You could even do it out of the bunker, which would be a very advanced type of a game. So we're getting in closer and closer. And the goal of this, instead of just hitting at a hole, it's just making me very intentional and aware of what my distance control is. So as I get closer again, there you can see I actually passed. I would, I would fail the game, but I would count how many golf balls I actually got between the last one and this one. It looks like I got about six golf balls. So that would kind of start my standard for my goal and see if I could you know, progress off of that. So this is just a great game. If you're looking for some way to get better at chipping, you can apply this before you get to the golf course and you'll be ready to get up and down more as you get on the golf course.